Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at the perpendicular bisector of a line, right? But you may ask, what is the perpendicular bisector of a line? The perpendicular bisector of a line is simply a straight line that intersect that given line at 90 degrees. It also pass through the center of that line. So in other words, it is a line that cuts a line or line segment in two equal parts, right? So now I am going to look on the perpendicular bisector of a line in our graphical perspective. So let's say that we have a xy plane, right? And this is our y axis. And this is our x axis. Right? And you have a straight line that looks like this. And at the end point, you have two points at the end. So you have a line segment, right? And let's say that this is AB, the line AB, right? And you want to know the coordinates of point A, right? Let's say we draw a broken line going down on the x-axis. And we draw one going across on the y-axis, right? At this point, let's call it x1. And at this point, let's call it y1, right? Because we know that along the x-axis, there are x coordinates, right? So, let's draw some broken lines going down to indicate where on the x-axis. So, this point, let's call it x2. And at this point, let's call it y2. So, this is a line segment, right? And I want to draw the perpendicular bisector of this line segment AB. Now we know that the perpendicular bisector will pass through the center of this line. So let's indicate a point where the center would be. So let's say the center of this line is here, at this red point here. Now the perpendicular bisector will pass through this point at the center and it would meet this line segment AB at 90 degrees, right? So, let's use a, draw, a black marker to draw the perpendicular bisector. So we have a line like this, and it's straight down, and we have one, one there, straight down. Now, here where the two lines intersect each other, they created a 90 degrees, right? which makes them perpendicular to each other, right? So this line here would be the perpendicular bisector, right? So this would be the, the, the perpendicular bisector, right? Now, one thing that we know about perpendicular lines, the product of their gradient is equal to negative 1. So you have to remember that. So we know that if we have two lines and they are perpendicular, then the gradient, which is m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So that's one thing that we know there. Now, if this line intersect the given line segment, at the center, it means that at where this point is, is the midpoint of, of the line. So in other words, the perpendicular bisector passes through the midpoint of a given line segment or line. Right? So if we want to write the coordinates of A, that would be x1, comma, y1. Right? And the coordinate of B would be x2 comma y2 but what would be the coordinate of the midpoint here this would be the midpoint so we know that the midpoint is equal to x1 plus x x2 
all divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 all divided by 2 right so we know we can use this formula here to find the midpoint so our objective is to be able to determine the perpendicular the equation of the perpendicular by sector of a given line segment or line right so with all of these information we know that a common point that both lines share is the midpoint right as you can see here on the diagram right and we know if we can calculate the midpoint of the line then we would have one point and the perpendicular bisector we also know that the, because these two lines are perpendicular the product of their gradient is equal to negative one and we also know that the perpendicular bisector is a straight line so it will take the form y equal m x plus c right where m is the gradient and c is the y intercept value now with all of these information in mind and now we have a clear understanding of what the perpendicular bisector is we're going to look at a possible question right okay so now let's look at an example the coordinates of a and b are negative 3 comma negative 5 and 4 comma 7 respectively find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line a b right so what do we know we know a coordinate and we know the coordinate of a we know the coordinate of b right and they want us to state the the equation of the perpendicular bisector what are all the things that we know we know that the equation of the perpendicular bisector will take this form which is y equal mx plus c that's what we know that's the form so if it's going to take this form we need the gradient right of the perpendicular bisector right and we also need a point on the line and the perpendicular bisector so we need a point and we need a gradient and if we have that we would have enough information to go ahead and find the equation of the perpendicular bisector so the first thing that we can do is to actually find the gradient of the line AB right so we are going to look at the gradient the gradient of AB how can we calculate the gradient of AB we know the gradient of AB if you, you can use the formula M is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 right we know we have a point on the line here which is a equal negative 3 5 so this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so in other words what this is saying this is saying that x1 is equal to minus 3 right y 1 is equal to negative 5. It's also saying that x2 is equal to 4 and y2 is equal to 7. So with these points, we can find the gradient of AB. So M, which is the gradient, is equal to y2. What is y2? 7 minus y1 which is negative 5 there right all over x2 which is 4 minus x1 which is minus 3 whenever you have 2 minus minus that means you should add because negative times negative gives you a positive or a simplest trick 
you connect the negative signs to give you one sign. So M is equal to 7 plus 5, that's 12, over 4 plus 3, that is 7. So we know the gradient of the line AB is 12 over 7. So let's call that M1, right? That's what we know. We also have of two points on the line AB. That means we can find the midpoint of AB because we know that the perpendicular bisector intersect the line AB at its midpoint. So we know the midpoint of AB. I'm going to calculate the midpoint. I'm just using MP midpoint of AB. If we calculate the midpoint of AB, we know that the midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 all divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 all divided by 2. We put that in a bracket, which is equal to, what is x1 in this case? x1 is minus 3, so this is minus 3 plus x2, which is 4, all divided by 2, comma, y1, which is minus 5, plus y2, which is 7, all divided by 2, right, in our bracket, which is equal to, so, m, p, minus 3 plus 4, the signs are different, so you subtract and keep the sign of the larger number, so that's just 1 over 2, here, the same idea, the signs are different, subtract and keep the sign. So minus 5 plus 7, that's just 2, and 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1. So the midpoint of AB is equal to a half comma 1. But the midpoint is very special. The midpoint is also a point and the perpendicular bisector, right? So now we also know that the perpendicular bisector and AB, they are two perpendicular lines. So that means we can find the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. So what is the gradient of the perpendicular bisector? No, the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is how do we find it? we know if two lines are perpendicular then the product of their gradient equal negative one so we say m1 times m2 is equal to negative one we know M1 already, which is the gradient of the line AB, which is 12 over 7. So we can substitute that value. So we know that 12 over 7 times M2 is equal to negative 1. Right? So now, all you need to do is... We can divide both sides by 12 over 7. So here, divide this side by 12 over 7. And also divide this side by 12 over 7. 12 over 7 will cancel 12 over 7. So we know M2 is equal to, that's just 1, negative 1 divided by 12 over 7. That's going to give us 7 negative 7 over 12 all right so the gradient so the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is negative 7 over 12 now we also know that 
the equation, so we know, we know that the equation of the perpendicular bisector will take the form y equal mx plus c right do we do we have a coordinate on the perpendicular bisector yes the midpoint they share both lines share the midpoint so we we have a coordinate here so we know that x is equal to a half and y is equal to 1. So we can sub these values into this equation. We also know the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. The gradient of the perpendicular bisector is negative 7 over 12. So we can write that. So we know that y is equal to negative 7 over 12 x plus c. If we substitute these values into this equation it allows us to calculate the value of c and then we just therefore state the equation of the perpendicular bisector so we know that one which is the y value here is equal to negative 7 over 12 times a half right plus c now we also know that one is equal to negative 7 times 1 that is negative 7 12 times 2 that's 24 all right plus c now we need to get rid of this negative 7 over 24 we know that 1 is the same thing as 24 over 24 right but we need to add 7 over 22 4 to both sides so here we're going to have 1 plus 7 over 24 is equal to c right now if 1 is the same thing as 24 over 24 we can rewrite it so we know that 24 over 24 plus 7 over 24 is equal to c right So because the denominator are the same, which is 24, we keep the denominator. So we know that C is going to equal to, we keep the denominator, which is 24, and we just simply add the numerator. So 24 plus 7, that's 31. So this is 31. So we know that our C value, are the y-intercept, is 31 over 24. So now our final equation is the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y equal mx plus c. But what is m? m is negative 7 over 12. So that's negative 7 over 12 x, right? Plus our c. But what is our c value here? That's us 31 over 24, right? And that is how you would find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. All right, so now let's look at example two. The coordinates of A and B are 4, 7 and 3, 5 respectively. X is the midpoint of AB. Calculate the gradient of AB, calculate the coordinate of X, hence determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB, right? So, now we know we have a line, we have the coordinates of A and B, right? So, we know the coordinate of A is 4, 7. Now the coordinate of B is 3 comma 5 that's what we know 
we know we plot points in the form x comma y so we can go ahead and say okay this is x1 then this is y1 this is x2 this is y2 right we can go ahead and also write out what these is equal to so we know that x1 is equal to 4 while y1 is equal to 7 we know that x2 is equal to 3 while y2 is equal to 5 right now we get now that we know what each x values are and each y values are we can go ahead and calculate the gradient of a b so we know the gradient of a b how do we calculate the gradient of any line we use the formula m is equal to y2 minus y1 all divided by x2 minus x1 right so being this value into this formula we know that m which is the gradient is equal to y2 what is y2 that is 5 minus y1 that is 7 all divided by x2 what is x2 3 right so it is 3 minus x1 what is x1 that is 4 right so m is equal to what is 5 minus 7 that's minus 2 over 3 minus 1 that is minus 1 so m is equal to positive 2 right because negative will cancel out and 2 divided by 1 is just 2 so we know that the gradient we know that the gradient of a b is 2 that's what we know now they said that we must now calculate the coordinate of x but what is x we know that x is the midpoint of ab right so in other words they are asking us for the midpoint of ab so we know that m dot p the midpoint of ab we can use the formula midpoint equal x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 all in a bracket right so you know that the midpoint always written in coordinate form do we have x1 yes x1 is 4 right so we know that this is 4 plus x2 which is 3 all divided by 2 comma y1 which is 7 plus y2 which is 5 all of that divided by 2 right what is 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 is 7 right so this is 7 over 2 comma what is 7 plus 5 7 plus 5 is 12 right so this is 12 over 2 can further simplify this to be equal to keep this as a fraction right which is a 7 over 2 since 2 cannot divide 7 equally comma 12 divided by 2 that is a 6 so we know the midpoint of a b is 7 over 2 comma 6 now they said that hence determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector we know if the perpendicular bisector the word perpendicular means that both lines are perpendicular and the perpendicular bisector passes through the midpoint of a b they share that common point and we know what that point is that it means that the midpoint here is a point and the perpendicular bisector that's one thing that we know we also know that both lines are perpendicular which means that one gradient is the inverse 
of the other gradient. The negative inverse of the other gradient, sorry. So we know that the gradient of AB is actually equal to 2. So we also know that the product of their gradient is actually equal to negative 1 as well. So we know that we can now go ahead and find the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. But the gradient of the perpendicular bisector, the gradient of the perpendicular bisector. One is just the negative inverse of one. So what is the inverse of two? That's just one over two. But it should be the negative inverse, right? So that means the gradient of, of the perpendicular bisector is negative one over two, right? We also know that the product of their gradient should give us negative one. So let's, let's do a quick check. Two times negative 1 over 2, that's just negative 1. So we know that this gradient is correct. So now, we know that also that the equation of the perpendicular bisector will take the form y equals mx plus c. We know that, right? So we know that. So we can always go ahead and calculate the value of, of c. Given that we know a coordinate, a point on the line. So we know that when x is equal to 7 over 2, y is equal to 6. So we can plug this into our equation there. So we know that 6 is equal to the gradient, which is negative 1 over 2, times x, which is 7 over 2, plus c. So here we have 6 is equal to negative a half times 7 over 2. Negative 1 times 7, that's negative 7 over 2 times 2, that's just 4 plus c. Now we need to get rid of this negative 7 over 4, which means that we have to add 7 over 4 to both sides. If we add 7 over 4 to this side, we left back with c. And now we, on this side, we will have 6 plus 7 over 4, right? But 6 is the same thing as 6 over 1, right? And if I, so 6 is the same thing as 6 over 1. So if I want a common denominator of 4, both of them to have a common denominator of 4, all I need to do is to multiply 6 over 1 by 4 over 4. So 6 fourths is 24, so this would be 24 over 4, same thing, plus 7 over 4 is equal to C. Now the denominators are the same, so you can keep the denominator of 4, which is equal to C, and just simply add the numerator. So what is 24 plus 7? That is what? 31, right? So that is 31. So our C value is 31 over 4. So now we can just simply state the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So therefore, the equation of the perpendicular bisector is y equal m. Well, what is m? m is, is this, right? m is negative 1 over 2. So that's just negative 1 over 2 x plus our c value. What is the c value? 31 over 4. 
and that is the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and do enjoy the rest of your day.